Okay guys, so this is a course where um, I'm actually going to go through Property Radar, uh, how to use it, how to get logged in, how to generate a list, and just basic navigation, right? So any of us can jump in here and at least know how to pull um, some leads and find what we're looking for. So um, I'm going to go ahead and go to login. I think all my details are here. So it's just propertyradar.com. Um, you're going to be, you'll have the login there. It should be saved. If not, you can get it. Then you're going to see this pop up first. And I've actually got this at I, what I hope is the correct uh, resolution so that you can see everything large and clear um, on like a 1080p video. And then you can actually see like um, where I'm going and what's going on. Um, if you notice here, you're going to see these three bars. This is going to be when you click this. This is going to kind of be what your search is and, and uh, where you go. If you notice here, you're going to have um, my list, which are the ones you can, you can save. Explore is just going to let you cruise around and change. That's actually really cool. We'll go into that. Trustee sale, property search. We're mainly going to be focusing on foreclosure right here. Uh, transfer, save searches. You can save some um, without making a list. Um, and then save properties, you can just star them as well. So first off, just jumping into um, the foreclosure search. This is going to be what we use the most. When you click that, nothing's really going to change. You're just going to be on a foreclosure search, as you can see up here. Um, and you're going to want to click on search options right here. Notice the difference between the green search and the search options. This is going to be when you actually want to hit go. And this is just going to be where you put in your parameters. So notice here that these are already checked. We don't want these to all be checked. We're going to hit clear all. We want pre foreclosure. Um, you can add if you're, and let me explain what the differences are. So right here, auction means that there's a set auction date or the auction has already happened. Um, bank own, which means it's past the auction and then third party is someone else. Um, you can go in and change these as well. NTS means notice of trustee sale filed. This will get you a little bit more listings than you want because it's actually going to have notice of trustee sale filed from all date ranges. So if the record has ever been foreclosed or sold, or if there's been a uh, NTS, it's going to come up. You want to set your parameters and your date, right? So we're just going to focus on checking the pre foreclosure box. And then you're next going to go to this tab where it says location. Um, we all want to stay within California, but you don't have to put any of these other parameters in if you just focus on city and zip code. What I like to do to give a nice example here is put 90805. Uh, which is going to be Long Beach and then let's put like 90501 that's Torrance right you can put these two zip codes in I'm not sure if you have to have a space I think not but when you put those in separate them by a comma um, property details is going to be uh, the only other parameter that we want to mess with we hit clear all we want to look at sometimes commercial we want to look at uh, multi-family two to four of course and then single family residences so I just want on this one I just want single family and I just want multifamily. Um, these are going to be commercial, anything five and up. So if you're looking for commercial, you would just come in here and you'd hit this and you'd hit this as well. Depending on what we're doing, you can wholesale land. So we might be looking at some of that as well. But first off, you're going to want to come in and just do multifamily, single family. And that's it. You really don't have to mess with any of these other parameters because what you're doing is on your location, you're going to be coming in and changing that. We just want to stay fresh. If you notice, I'm just going to go, it doesn't matter what tab you're on. The only thing you changed was foreclosure, pre foreclosure right here. Then you have location. We put in two zip codes. You can also put in city if you want. I just like this. Um, property details. Remember to hit clear all. These are going to be checked. Uh, these come up all checked as default. So you want to clear all and then select what you want. And then we're going to come over here to search and just hit go. And if you notice, that's a perfect number of some stuff to get into. There's 45 uh, homes, residences that came up. And I'm actually going to zoom out a little bit uh, just for, so I can see. Um, and notice how you have the map up here and then you have your listing down here. Now, you can take things out and you can add. This is, this is a really, really valuable thing to do here. So we really don't need to know some of this information, right? Um, the trustees phone number is going to be the bank. You might want to get into that later But if you notice there's another tab down here where we can slide over some of this stuff is important. Some is not right Let's just say that we don't care um, If it's on or occupied right or, or let's do this. Let's let's not care about the zoning real quick So we just come in here you click on this and there's a there's an arrow down for each tab There's gonna be a little part where there's an arrow down on a larger tab You can see the arrow downs over here. So you just click down on that and then you're going to go to columns 
and you can uncheck that my photos is unchecked because we're not going to be putting photos in here we're going to export our list the type of property we do want to know um, owner occupied estimated value and most of this is set up how I like it so if you're logged into our database it's going to be already set up um, some of this stuff we don't need my photo my this is for people who, who navigate and use uh, property radar as their CRM right but I, I don't need to do that so you can move these around but just to show you how to basically navigate, let's let's just click on um, the date here so it can change. Let's see our default date. So we're going to organize these when you click on them and put it ascending and descending order. The most recent one that we have right here, let's scoot all the way back over here, is going to be this property here, uh, Peak Foreclosure Services. And this says right here, that's who owns it. So somebody looks like they've already got a hold of that. These guys... Uh, on 12 15 2017 which was you know 10 days before Christmas uh, this property the original owner this property went into foreclosure or pre foreclosure and their loan amount is this and their default amount would be uh, right here they're forty seven thousand three hundred ninety six dollars behind like so if we want to check this out we click on it notice this just popped up over here this over here is going to be like a brief uh, you know what they call like a I don't know a, um, just a small bit of information if you click on it it'll take you to the full details so that's like a preview I guess if you go in here um, there's different tabs notice how we can click along and we're paying for the higher membership so it actually gives us the most detail that they have if they have the information it's released to us there's nothing off limits we have the pro membership so it has like the two phone numbers that are mobile one landline um, his age, date of birth, um, male, female, ethnicity, a lot of stuff where they speak in English, which is really good when we get on the phones. Um, and that's in the contact. So if we click back um, and just try to find another one, I want to find one that has a Facebook profile so that you can see that. But either way, once you get one, you'll notice what I'm talking about. You can click right on it and go to their link. Clicking on this again on the side brings me to their um, info. Clicking on that basic preview. If it has a blue phone, that means that they do have a phone number and contacts. Um, and then, uh, let's go here. This one doesn't have a Facebook profile either, but it does tell you, it says Hispanic, speak Spanish, so that's important. Um, and then notice I'm clicking on the arrow. I'm not clicking up here on this, which would obviously, you know, refresh the whole page and go back a, a step. You just want to click back on Property Radar's navigation tab. There's a little arrow right there. Um, what would I be able to find? Let's find Eva. Let's see if she's on here. If I just click on her, then I click on this. Then I go to contacts. 45 years old. Should have social media. No, not in here. I want to find one that has social media. Uh, Ruben Ray. Just right here. Contacts. 50 years old. Not on there either. Let's check it out. So as you can see, I'm just kind of cruising through. Gina Lee. How old is Gina? Well, no info on her. So we don't have anything on her. We would have to mail. Uh, it looks like so primary residency, other property. So she she must be an investor here. <clears throat> but you can go through and you can actually see the value. This property, uh, the value is um, what it says for market value. And these are rough estimates. We don't want to take these. Um, you know they, they can help us but at the same time we want to do our own due diligence but it can give you a rough idea where they're sitting in the property if we just hit overview uh, property built in 1986 four bed three bath square foot um, the lot size pretty big lot it says it's worth 1.1 the equity should be 151 and the purchase price is 420 in 2002 if I go to details it'll give us a little bit more on where they stand I think if I yeah so if you cruise through these there's other tabs right here these are actually gonna show you this is kinda important to learn how to read this if you notice right here you can go back pretty far but this was just how to get logged in how to generate a list remember uh, you know we went over here we went to foreclosure search um, and then we went to search options and we had these tabs it was foreclosure location a little bit of property detail and just go um, and everything fell into, uh, we got 45 properties just in those two zip codes, 90501 and uh, 90805.